we looked at our outcomes for patients treated with long course as well as a short course radiation um, because during the COVID-19 pandemic, we had a mandate where all patients were required to have short course radiation due to essentially resource limitation at, at Memorial Sloan Kettering and in New York City. We wanted to see how patients did and more specifically, you know, what our organ preservation rates were or how, how successful we were at avoiding surgery. And so we looked really kind of more, I guess, descriptively to say what were the overall kind of outcomes. And what we found was actually quite interesting was that our ability to induce a complete clinical response in both uh, the 76 and the um, 200 so something patients, I can look that up, sorry, um, was about the complete clinical response of both groups was 46%. But what we went on to find was that there was actually numerically a higher rate of organ preservation at two years for patients who had long course chemo radiation um, as compared to short course radiation. And we further kind of dug into this data a little bit more and saw that the local regrowth rate in the rectum was higher with short course um, than with long course. And so what we what we found was really was that our ability to induce and have long-term rates of organ preservation appeared to be numerically higher with long course chemo radiation than with short course radiation uh, in terms of a total neoadjuvant treatment paradigm.